Chrysler Park to the May savings and games under £20 PSN sales. This is a ginormous sale, but most of the deals aren't that great, so be careful what you pick up. But don't worry, as usual, I've gone through the sale and I found some really cool games and some really good deals for you as well. So if you like finding cool games to play and saving a lot of money, don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss out on a good sale again. You're welcome here anytime. And this sale ends on the 8th of May, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. Let's look at the games. First up is Axiom Verge. It was released in 2016, so it's 8 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of £3.74, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty good deal for a really cool and interesting game. In this Metroidvania, after a lab accident, a scientist awakens in a mysterious alien world, and sets off to search a labyrinthine world to learn its secrets, and find out where you are, and hopefully a way home as well. Now this game is pretty obviously ripping off Metroid, and that's a good thing. They don't make a lot of Metroid games these days, especially of the 2D variety, and this is a really cool looking game. So if you're a big fan of the old NES Metroid or SNES Metroid games, then you'll probably really enjoy this. A lot of the modern versions of these games are a lot more complicated and modernised, so it's nice to see something a bit retro for a change. So hey, if you're a fan of retro games, and you like Metroid games especially, definitely take a look at this. It's a great game with great reviews, and it even got a sequel that's that popular. So if you like the sound of it, definitely take a look. And hey, if you've never played a Metroidvania before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting here. It's a really good game, but it is retro in design. So if you want something a bit more modern, you've got plenty of games like this to choose from, out of the more modern ones. So unless you really love retro games, you're probably better off picking one of them up instead. But don't worry, I'll let you know when they're on sale next. We have some old school games next. Clonoa Fantasy Reverie Series, PS4 and PS5. It was released in 2022, so it's two years old, but the original games are much older than that really, and it's on an 80% sale for the price of £8.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty good deal for two full games, as this includes the Moo costume set, and two full games to play as well, which is really great. These are both 2.5D platformers, as you get to play remasters of the first two Clonoa games from PS1 and PS2, as you set off to save a world full of original characters by platforming your way to victory across two full games. It even features the addition of difficulty settings as well, so if you want these games for kids, they'll be able to play them. Now, Clonoa may not be one of the biggest franchises that people know about, but it's right up there on platformers. It was really popular on PlayStation, and they did really well, because they're really good games, and they deserve more recognition than they've had so far. It's kinda like a rip-off Kirby, but for PlayStation consoles. It may not have become a huge franchise of platformers for PlayStation, but hey, they're really good games, they're really well liked, and they're really worth playing. So if you like platformers, and especially 2.5D ones, then you'll really enjoy this. They're really good games and they're really worth playing. So why not take a look if you like that sort of game? And hey, if you've never played a 2.5D platform before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting here, because you can get other ones cheaper, and you're stuck with two games here if you don't like the genre. So you're probably better off starting with one of the cheaper ones and just pick up one instead. But luckily there's some really good games in this genre, so you will have some good options to choose from in future sales. Our next game is Lost Judgment Digital Ultimate Edition. It was released in 2021, so it's only 3 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of 1874 which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a huge deal considering the normal price of the game. And this edition includes the two story expansions, school stories, and the Kaito files, plus the Detective Essentials pack as well, so you're getting the complete version of the game, with a load of extra content included, which is really good. In this action adventure, after a convicted police officer reveals the location of a murder victim, private detective Yagami must revisit an impossible case to reveal the truth behind the two crimes as the bodies continue to pile up around him. Now, this is a spin-off series from the Yakuza games, which are amazing games, but instead of playing from the Yakuza and criminal side, in these games you play as a cop from the other side of it. So if you ever wanted to be a cop in Japan, then this is your chance. They don't make a lot of games where you get to play as a detective or a cop these days, and this is from a really big franchise with a lot of pedigree behind it, so you know the game's quality because they've got a lot of experience in the genre. And this isn't the first game in the spin-off series either, so there's quite a few games to play and a series to get into. They're really good, they're really popular, and that's why for a spin-off series, they do really well. That's how you know their quality. So anyway, if you're a fan of the Yakuza games, but you want to play a cop, or you like crimes or series or stories, then you should definitely take a look at this. They're very unique, very cool, and they're really good games, so why not take a look if you're interested?
And hey, if you've never played an action adventure before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. It's a really good game from a really good series, but the price is still really high because the base price is really high. You can pick up cheaper games in this franchise from other series, so you're probably be better off starting one of them instead. So if you like the sound of that, keep checking the sales, and I'll let you know when they're on sale next. Up next is my Star by Metal Slug Anthology. It was released in 2016, so it was 8 years old, but the games are much older than that really, and they're on a 90% discount for the low price of £3.19, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a fantastic deal, as this anthology includes Metal Slug 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and X, so you're getting 7 full games for this price, which is really cool. Especially as these are ports of the Neo Geo versions of the game, except 6, which is an arcade port, which provides the best versions of all of the games. So not only are you getting all of them, you're getting the best versions of them as well, which is really cool. These are all 2D run and gun games, and a part of a legendary series, where you get to play as a group of the Peregrine Falcon Strike Force, fighting against the Rebel Army to prevent their coup d'etat. This series is legendary in the arcade realm, and they basically wrote the book on run and gun games. The graphics are really good, and the gameplay is even better. So if you like retro run and gun games where you just get to run around shooting a load of enemies, you'll enjoy this series. You probably know about it already since it's so legendary, and you get 7 of them for a really low price, so you can't really ask for much more. So if you're a fan of retro shooter or run and gun games, you should definitely check this out if you've only played one of them or a couple of them or none of them. You'll be in for a treat if that's the case. Like I said, it's my star buy. It's well worth your time and money. Why not take a look? And hey, if you've never played a run and gun game before, then normally I wouldn't recommend buying a bundle of this many games. But hey, it's so cheap and it's from a legendary series. So why not? If you're interested in this genre, this is a brilliant series to start with, and you get a lot of them included, for a really low price, so you can't really ask for much more. If you want to try out this genre, definitely take a look at this. But if not, don't worry, there'll be plenty more games for you to pick up in this sale, or another one instead. We have a racing game next, Ride 4 Special Edition. It was released in 2020, so it's 4 years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the price of £10.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal considering how expensive it normally is, especially as this edition includes the Season Pass worth over £30, with 60 new bikes, 140 extra events, and new tracks as well. You're getting a ton of extra content for the complete package, which is really good. This bike racer has hundreds of officially licensed bikes, dozens of global tracks, and a dynamic story mode as you compete from the regionals up into the professional leagues. It features dynamic day and night and weather effects, and 12 player online multiplayer as well. So you're getting a huge amount of content for a really good deal. So if you're a fan of bike racing, and you've played all of the MotoGP games, or you're just not that interested in the MotoGP license, then definitely take a look at this. It looks like a really good bike racing game, with a ton of content included, which is really good. You can't ask for much more really when you're looking for a game to play. So if you like the sound of that, definitely take a look at it. And hey, if you've never played a bike racer before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. You can pick up other ones from other franchises, cheaper than this, so you're much better off starting with one of them instead. Up next is Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. It was released in 2020, so it's 4 years old, and is on a 90% discount for the low price of £3.29, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a fantastic deal. In this adventure game you get to become the legendary detective, and investigate 6 thrillingly varied cases, including murder, theft, and missing persons, as you use your talents to find the culprits, and decide their fate with dynamic results, based on your investigation and actions, which means you do get different outcomes, and replaying the game will give you different stories and different results, which is really cool. There's nothing like testing your deductive skills, and seeing if you can solve the cases or not. It's nice to see a bit of challenge in this sort of game. Now there's a lot of games in this series, and they're all got really good reviews. In general, the studio does really good work, and people seem to really like these games. So if you're a big fan of investigative games, or just Sherlock Holmes in general, you'll probably have a lot of fun with this. And especially with the dynamic stories and outcomes, there's a lot of fun to be had with this game and series. So if you like the sound of that, definitely take a look at it. I think you'll have a lot of fun if you like the sound of it. And hey, if you've never played a detective adventure before, then I would recommend starting here. It's a really good game from a really good franchise, based on a legendary book series. So you can't ask for much more really, especially at this price. It's a really good deal. So if you're interested, why not take a look? We have some great shooters now. 
Wolfenstein Alt History Collection. It was released in 2020, so it's four years old, but the games are older than that really, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £10.99, which is a really good deal, as this collection includes all four of the modern games, Wolfenstein The New Order, The Old Blood, Two The New Colossus, and Young Blood as well. So again, the complete series for a really good price, which is great. In these first-person shooters, you play the complete story of the modern Wolfenstein games, from the 1940s Europe to the 1960s occupied America, as you fight the Third Reich throughout an alternate history where Germany didn't lose World War II. Now these days, a lot of first-person shooters focus on the multiplayer, and they don't really put a lot of time or effort into the campaigns anymore, which is a shame because that's what I enjoy the most, and a lot of people used to as well. I think they've got sidetracked and they need to focus more these days. But anyway... If you're a fan of first-person shooters and you like games with a bit of story or really cool objectives, then you'll really like these. They're all schooled in their gameplay, which means they focus on story and a narrative experience, which is really great. I wish there was more series like this because they're really good fun. I'm fed up of multiplayer stuff. There's plenty of multiplayer and you can play one forever. You don't need new ones every year or multiple series. It's just a waste to me. So if you like first-person shooting and you want something with a bit of story and something to play through, definitely take a look at this series. They're a legendary franchise and they're really good games as well. And you get a lot for your money with this bundle. So definitely take a look if you like the look of these games. And hey, if you've now played a first-person shooter before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. You get a lot of games for your money and you're stuck with them if you don't like them. You're much better off picking one of the other games from the genre instead that are cheaper than this when you just pick up one of them. So take a look around in this sale or keep following the sales with me and I'll let you know when there's more on sale next. Yakuza Kiwami is our next game. It was released in 2017, so it's 7 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the low price of £3.99, which is a really great deal. Now this third person action game is set 10 years ago, where you took the blame for a crime you didn't commit, and now you're released from prison, expelled from your Yakuza family in a city you no longer recognise, and you soon become entangled in chaos, as 10 billion yen of Yakuza money vanishes, and it's up to you to find out what's really going on. Now there's a huge amount of games in this franchise, and you're much better off picking them up in the bundles, or individually for the few there aren't in a bundle. Now this is a really good franchise with a ton of games in them and there's a load of them on sale right now. They're all at this same price and discount so if you're missing some from your collection or you want to start off at the beginning then now's your time to pick them up. Why don't you look at them because they're a really good series and if you like the GTA story mode or old school GTA games or other crime based open world games and you like Japan then you should definitely check out this series. It's a really great series with a ton of games, and you can have a lot of fun with them, especially at this price. So why not take a look, and get started, or complete your Yakuza collection. And hey, if you've never played a third person action game before, then this is a really good place to start. There's some of the best games around in this genre, and there's a lot of content for your money as well. So why not pick up the prequel, and start your journey here. I think you'll have a lot of fun with this series. And the final game I have for you is You Know, A Girl Who Chants Love at the Bound of This World. It was released in 2019, so it's 5 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of £11.24, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty good price, as most anime games from Japan are pretty pricey, so this isn't too bad. In this visual novel, using the power of the reflector, you must travel through time in multiple timelines, gathering clues to solve the disappearance of your parents, and finally resolve the long-lost mystery. Now be warned, this contains adult content, which obviously isn't a problem for most people, but you've been warned if you don't like it. And outside of that, it's a visual novel, so you've got to be okay with reading a lot of text, and or just there being a ton of dialogue. It's going to be dialogue heavy, and not gameplay heavy, which if you're into this genre, it's fine. That's what the genre is, but if you haven't tried it before, you've been warned. They do have really good stories usually though, and some of the themes and that are really different and unique, so you do get a really good variety, and something a bit different compared to other games, as they usually go a bit more out there with the story in these games. So if you're a fan of visual novels, and you're okay with adult content, then why not take a look at this? It looks like a really good quality visual novel, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it if you're into this genre and content. And hey, if you've now played a visual novel before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. It's got adult content which may put you off, and also it's a bit more pricey than some of the others you can pick up. So I'd recommend starting with a different one instead, because you can pick them up cheaper, and they'll be just as good quality as well. So why not look around this sale? Or don't worry, I'll let you know when they're on sale again next, in future sales. And that's all the games I have for the May Savings and Games Under £20 PSN sales. 
What did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good games or did I pick bad games? And what about the star buy? Did it deserve it? Or should some other game have got it instead? Leave all your comments down below and we can talk about it later. Anyway, I hope you guys found some cool games to play. But more importantly, I hope you saved a lot of money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Oil Vow.